Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will learn how to convert measurements between the apothecary and household systems. We will also learn conversions between the metric, apothecary and household systems. Now, we know that there exist three systems of measure in medical administration. First is metric system, second is apothecary system and third is household system. Now let us discuss primary metric system units for weight. We use microgram, milligram, gram, kilogram, etc. And for volume, we use milliliter, liter, cubic centimeter, etc. And in apothecary system, for weight, we use grain, drum. And for volume, we use fluid drum etc. And in household system for volume we use teaspoon, tablespoon etc. Now let us discuss units used in both apothecary and household system for weight. The common units are ounce, pound etc. And for volume, the common units are fluid ounce, pint, quart, gallon, etc. Now let us see conversions between systems. First we will discuss metric to apothecary conversion. 1 gram is equal to 15 grains. Then 15 to 16 grains is equal to 1000 milligrams. Then 7.5 grains is equal to 500 milligrams. 5 grains is equal to 300 to 325 milligrams. 1.5 grains is equal to 100 milligrams. And 1 grain is equal to 60 milligrams. Now let us discuss metric to household conversion. 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. Or we can say 1000 grams is equal to 2.2 pounds. 30 milliliters is equal to 1 ounce. 500 milliliters is equal to 1 pint. 230 milliliters is equal to 1 glass, 180 milliliters is equal to 1 teacup, 15 milliliters is equal to 1 tablespoon and 5 milliliters is equal to 1 teaspoon. 1 milliliter is equal to 15 to 16 drops and 1 liter is equivalent to 1 quart. Now let us discuss apothecary to household conversions. Here, 32 fluid ounces is equal to 1 quart, 16 fluid ounces is equal to 1 pint, 480 grains is equal to 1 ounce and 1 lemon is equal to 1 drop. Now let us discuss some examples based on conversions between the metric, apothecary and household systems. First of all, we will discuss an example based on conversion between apothecary and metric system. For conversion, you must know the essential equivalence in order to convert between these two systems. Now let us convert 120 milligrams to grains. For this conversion, we will use dimensional analysis that we have discussed in one of our sessions. First of all, we have to find the starting factor. 
Now here the starting factor is 120 milligrams. Also we have to determine the answer unit and here we want the answer in grains. So the answer unit is grains. Now we have to find conversion factor. For this we use the relationship between grain and milligrams. So here we know that one grain is equal to 60 milligrams. So here the conversion factor will be 1 grain upon 60 milligrams. Using dimensional analysis, we set up the equation as starting factor into conversion factor is equal to answer unit. So this implies starting factor that is 120 milligrams into conversion factor that is 1 grain upon 60 milligrams is equal to answer unit that is grains. I am solving here milligrams cancels with milligrams and 60 into 2 is 120. So 2 into 1 grain is equal to 2 grains. Therefore 120 milligrams is equal to 2 grains. Now let us discuss an example based on conversion between apothecary and household systems. Here we have to determine that 32 fluid ounces is equal to how many cups? Now here the starting factor is 32 fluid ounces and answer unit is cups. Now we have to find the conversion factor. For this we have to learn the relationship between fluid ounces and cups. Now one cup is equal to 8 fluid ounces. So the conversion factor is equal to 1 cup upon 8 fluid ounces. Now here as we have to find our answer in cups. So we will put this unit in the numerator. And we have to cancel fluid ounces. So we write this unit in denominator of this fraction. Now again we set up the equation as starting factor into conversion factor is equal to answer unit and this implies starting factor that is 32 fluid ounces into conversion factor that is 1 cup upon 8 fluid ounces is equal to answer unit that is cups. Now again on solving this we get 4 cups. Therefore, 32 fluid ounces is equal to 4 cups. So in this fashion we have discussed convergence between the metric, apothecary and household systems. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.